chilaquiles verdes con huevo. Son de abuela. Esquipe. So these are awesome. Chicken. Rum for net. Ooh. Fried avocado. Roasted carrots, albondigas, roast chicken with couscous. What's up, everyone? An interesting land, interesting here. If you're a returning viewer or subscriber, thank you so much. Right now, at the time of me recording this intro, we are only 69 subscribers away from our goal of a thousand subscribers. So, thanks so much for the support. We're so close to getting there. If you're new, I'm interesting. I retired in 2021 to eat and travel full time. Ever since we've been traveling around and eating through Mexico. If that sounds interesting or you wanna help me hit my goal, consider subscribing. Today's episode is back in Mexico City. It's an interesting one in that we thought my mom was leaving. Watch the video to see what happens. And then please stay tuned till the end to see all the great food. This is one of the best food episodes in my opinion. Back to the video. This is my mom's last day, having some issues with her flight home, but heading to breakfast at La Casa de Tonio. Then we're gonna run some errands and then grab lunch. Stay tuned. Pozole, and it comes with lime, tostadas, hot sauce, crushed red, and dried oregano. I think what makes La Casa de Tonio so good is how consistent and how inexpensive and how quick it is. Also because there's so many locations throughout the city, it's usually very convenient to get to one. And this is a place I originally was like hesitant to take friends and family visiting, but every single person we've taken has really, really enjoyed it. So I highly suggest you go. Here goes the pasole. These are the two must orders, the pasole, whether you want chicken or the other meat and chilequiles preferably with eggs and green sauce and here is the chilequiles verdes con huevo with crema and queso and all the goodies one of the best this is the aftermath flan de abuela That's really good. We're flan. Last thing to note, really, La Casa de Tonio. If you want another dish in addition to the pozole and the chilaquiles, the enchiladas with con uh, quesillo are also really good. Um, and they've got orange juice. I don't know if they have coffee or not, but don't really love the don't really love the drinks, but the foods. All right, heading to Masala Imais for the second time. Gonna see what they have. Keep you informed. Havre, we're here. Marseille and Havre. So the lime is covered with a masala and it also comes with corn. Uh, we have the chips on side, all these with masala also. So let's put the lime on top and get it. So a lot of nice textures, the corn, the chips, like you get the crunch, and then you get the citrus or the acid from the lime, and then there's like a tahini or I guess yeah, masala on there. So a lot of just really good flavors, really nice way to start out. So we got the samosas, we might have got, got the caca, bazin, deli, paca, just butcher that. And then we're gonna get the cuckoo poisson, the chicken, and then maybe the matoke mixiote. It's made, so it's like the mother corn. Uh, 
the grains are bigger and are like tender, but delicious. Just like the same at the last dish, you need to grab it with your hands and eat it like that. Okay? okay. It has also a coconut milk with Kenyan masala on the bottom and homemade mayonnaise on top. Okay. So not sure how much audio came through when he was explaining, but this is like a different riff on the esquipe. Massive corn kernels here, and then we got the mayo, the masala. Um, gonna try to eat it. Here we go. Mm. Definitely get the masala or the curry. Really good. Herb has a lot of flavor, man. Just so much flavor. Great texture from these massive corn kernels. I like it. It's much different than the other one. Texturally, and then we'll spoon some liquid on here. Uh, it's and the other two are from a mix of vegetables with chutney. Mm. Uh, I recommend break the samosas. Mix the sauces and dip it. Perfect. Enjoy. So these are awesome. I just have the meat ones. Both sauces are good. You know, the green's like a little mintier. The one on the right's a little more tamarind, a lot of flavor. The lime and the texture, just absolute tons of flavor. I think these are veggie. Let's dig in. Chicken. Oh. This one's chicken. So good. Texture is great. Yeah, this one's chicken or veggie. I prefer the other one, but this one's still really good. And both salsas, I don't know which one I prefer. They're both great. Chicken. Um, I'm seeing it's like the preparation that they, they make. So outside, uh, with a array of pickled limes. And here we have this uh, masala berbere. It's like the salsa which is marinated in chicken. But also we wanted to you to put them on the top. It's like a little bit crusty. Mm -hmm. Really good. Super crispy, really good chicken. The seasoning and spice is so different than any other thing I've ever had. Really juicy. The sauce is like very, not spicy, but just flavorful, oily. And then like what looks like a, like a jicama and like mango salad and then some sort of fennel and, and herb salad just to brighten it up instead of being like all fried. Really, really good. Everything's great. This is um, definitely the stuff I like to eat. Okay, quick rant about masala imais. Obviously their food is good. You could see it on my face. I don't think I've eaten anything there that wasn't good, especially that time. I think everything was great. What I don't like about masala imais is they kind of like push wine on you the whole time because it's their concept and that's how they make money. They also, we said we wanted to order something and he's like, no, let's let's get you something else. So I think for most people, masala imais will be great. I think a lot of people kind of like to be led and like ask for recommendations. For type A people like me that kind of know what they want, it might not be the best place and that's why we haven't gone back. I definitely think the food's great and you should check it out for yourself. That's the end of my rant, back to the video. Well, another solid meal at Masali Mahais, interrupted by uh, being on the phone with Delta the whole time, trying to get my mom a flight home since it's canceled. So we'll try to go back and have more complete meal, but really liked all three dishes. Gonna head home now, try to sort out her flight that the call just ended. Then we'll uh, maybe get a cocktail to celebrate and then grab dinner tonight. Got the wet feet right here with rum, fernet, pineapple, coconut. Very weird, I know. And then Yunji has her tiburon tiburon, shark shark. It's like gin and lemon and stuff. I totally dropped the ball on our first drinks. Yunji had her other tiburon tiburon. And I had a Dave Peterson, which kind of tastes like an old fashioned, but kind of tastes like chocolate. It is wild turkey with chinar, vermouth, and uh, a lemon. I don't know, I love it. It's really weird. It kind of tastes like an old fashioned in the front and like chocolate in the back. Trying the wet feet now. Not at all what I expected. Getting the 
getting the pineapple and maybe the fernet. I don't know. It's interesting. We'll be back with more analysis. Ooh, Name the very... components. Name the t the flavors you get. A piña and a see? coconut. See. Da -da 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 -da. Alada, pina, and coconut. I don't know, rum. Okay, that works. There's fernet and. Uh... We've got a fried chicken sandwich here. We've got fernet? another fried okay. avocado yeah. sandwich. It's okay. We've got a second fried avocado sandwich. We've got the fried chicken on the left, the fried avocado on the right. And there it is. We got the something happening over there. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you know what the heck that is. I saw it on the way and no idea. Chicken, squash pickle, radish, banana pepper, brioche. That's good. Even before even eating the avocado, I think the avocado is better. Show my mom's spillage. Spillage. Folks. Bonus. We'll be back with the avocado. Again, not ketchup. Uh, we got the hot sauce, folks. Same bun, same accoutrements. Got a fione. Yeah. It's avocado, folks. Maybe one of the top items in Mexico City. I don't know. Definitely the biggest surprise. Had to Come have keep it, it here. Get some cocktails and a fried avocado sandwich. We're heading home. Post secretives, secretives. Thanks for hanging out for day five. Stay tuned. Tomorrow we've got one more half day since my mom's flight got canceled. We'll at least be getting breakfast and coffee and some lunch to see. You. It's day six, mom's last day. Heading out to a bakery called Acre or A C R E for uh, some pastries and coffee. white life. Very different, but very good. But I still look that it's hot. It's the first time I'm here. Good? Mm -hmm. And there's pesto, yeah, there's pesto, pesto. and gouda. Oh, wow, that's a fancy honey queso. We're gonna get crunchy if you get close. Ooh! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Always going for a uh, Very savory. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's animal fat or what, but almost tastes cheesy. So the best thing about this place is all the food is so warm. Everyone's food was just like piping. Really fluffy and crispy. And then the other big thing that's different is the croissant is very savory. So I don't know if it's the butter or what they use. And then, then in Yunji's, it wasn't too sweet, but with the savoriness of the croissant and then the filling was bomb. And the sandwich is really good too. These are the roasted carrots with um, like tahini yogurts and something else that I'm blanking on. And obviously we've got some greens on there, so it is kind of like a salad. Salut. So hard to get things to focus. Very 
great, bud. Carrot's great. Everything just tastes like, looks like there's some chili pepper and nuts on it, but very light, earthy, refreshing, the opposite of fried and stuff. And that tahini yogurt is bomb with the chili oil. It's delicious. So this is the albondigas. This is uh, the first thing I ever had when we came here. And then we've got these uh, crispy onions, the cilantro or whatever herb. Really excited. And then this is the roast chicken with couscous, some sort of veggie down there. It looks like jicama. And then yeah, that peppermint or mint on top. And then obviously yogurt. I don't know if that's like a persimmon or a dried it's fruit, so apricot, but yeah. Buen appetit, buen provecho, chamo que samira, tarakimas. Amazing. Reminds me a little bit of Morocco. Getting Moroccan vibes. Yeah, you can see the skin's cooked well. Pretty sure it's dark meat, jicama, peppermint, yogurt. All right, going for the albondiga. So I think it's good. Better than I remember. Super flavorful. If you were sick or it was a colder day, it's a gorgeous day today, but it still tastes delicious. Here you can see more of the carrot, get some of the chili oil, the, the tahini yogurt. I don't know what green this is, but it's all delicious. All right, here goes the chicken. <clears throat> Great skin, texture of the couscous, and just like a lot of flavors. Definitely, yeah, like Moroccan or Middle Eastern. Everything's really juicy. The couscous is almost like a sauce, and then let's get some jicama peppermint. Hmm. Really nice light compliment, and then the uh, herbalness of the peppermint or mint is great. This is Yunji's favorite dish. My mom likes it a lot. Definitely super good. Coming back for the <clears throat> roasted carrot with the tahini yogurt and the various herbs and greens. Yeah, something about the tahini yogurt with the chili oil and everything. It's cool, light, and refreshing and clean, but the heat makes it, I don't know, complex or interesting. Really, really tasty. And the textures are all really great. Yeah, just can't get over the different looks of this one. The carrots, the different herbs, the microgreen, the tahini yogurt, the chili oil, the different cuts and sizes of the roasted carrots. A lot of flavors, a lot of texture. I think this might be one of my favorite things I've had here. Always help your waiters by dapping up the sauce with bread. Just finished up our third time at Secret Tri no, fourth time in Secret Tris this trip, third with my mom. I think that might have been the best meal there so far. Don't tell Yunji. Um, but yeah, gonna head back and then get my mom ready to hit the airport and hope she can get home. Heading to the grocery store to show my mom uh, what a Mexican grocery store looks like. All right, we're here at Shadrai. I'm gonna get some, get a few things and then I'll show some aisles and some stuff and maybe it'll be interesting to you. A lot of milk options here this is all milk chicken wings marinated some freshish chorizo spice area the eggs the meat the uh butcher section looks like the seafood's on it yeah here we go here's some seafood cheese 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 Chorizo, more dairy, yogurt, hot dog land, coffee, bread, and I'm looking for tortillas. Here's tortilla land. I'm loyal to uh, tortillas de barrio, del barrio. Panaderia, lots of bread. Liquor land, bira bira. We've got spirits. 
And this is my haul. Not a lot, just the uh, essential. So that was to dry. Now we're gonna head back. Then we might go to a pharmacy before heading out to lunch. Lego. Yeah, Clamato. Red Snapper. Coffee tuna. Cheers for a croissant. Caffeine. Mezcal, pineapple. Oh, this is great. Habanero honey on this.